Are you searching for how to create a metric scorecard on Power BI? So your search is gone because today I'm gonna show you how to do it with Power BI and also with Microsoft Fabric. This is the way that I'm guide you to prepare yourself for the future of data. Let's do it together. So here you have my Power BI screen, but before continue, I would like to request you guys, don't forget to thumbs up if you like this kind of content and if you like our YouTube channel with Power BI and Power Credit content, okay? Also, if in the end of this video, you will have some questions, some concerns, anything, doubts, don't forget to leave in the comments below, okay? This helps us to increase our community here on YouTube, so I'm counting on you. Also, if you are looking for Power BI consultant or Power BI consultants company, the R is a company that can help you so you will find our link in the description of this video don't don't be don't be afraid to click and check our services and then communicate with us okay if you are looking for power bi consultant developer or a company to help you in your data strategy dr is the right company for you okay so now let's continue we have here the power bi screen i will click on try a sample data set then i'm gonna use this load sample data to create my project. This is necessary because we needed at least one data source, okay, to create a matrix. So I will use this financials. This is a perfect one. Then I will load directly without any other customization on Power Query. You don't need it. All right. Then you will see here in the right that we have the data, the data source, okay and now i'm gonna start to create some visuals this is necessary in order to create the scorecard on microsoft fabric okay we are going to create those kpis in power bi online embedded on embedded in microsoft fabric okay this is how we create this kind of scorecards uh to use to create this scorecard i need to create to customize some visuals i will create a bar a regular bar vertical bar to use it over here i will put this vertical uh it's not necessary guys to design a beautiful dashboard okay i'm i will help you to create something new this is probably will be the future of data analysis because now we have in artificial intelligence embedded generative ai embedded on power bi so we will use it this on microsoft fabric that's why we don't have to uh, put too many if a four in order to create a beautiful dashboard okay so so this is the one the visual that I will start for this vision I will put it country as I mentioned and sales as metric okay now I have a bar chart with the countries and the sales of each country okay now oh, let's try a tree map tree map is better to describe this yes tree map is definitely better than the other one then i will create some line chart as well on this line chart i will put it for example month and sale as well just to see in a different approach okay now i have the evolution of sales through the year and here i have the distribution of sales uh, according countries okay uh, that's all this is perfect for me now i just needed to update to up to publish this dashboard on power bi so i will click it over here definitely i need to save this as something i will put it like uh, sales uh, is scorecard the name of this project and i will publish as pbix okay uh regular power bi file that's all we needed. I will publish in my workspace. No problem on that. Then Power BI just published. Once I see this message success, I can click here, open sales scorecard in Power BI. You will see that automatically. I have the screen of Microsoft Fabric. Why? Because I already have Microsoft Fabric installed, not installed, but uh, deployed in my account, okay? and now i can access power bi 
directly from Microsoft Fabric, okay? There is a video explaining Microsoft Fabric here on our YouTube channel. Just go there after this video if you wanna learn more about it, okay? I just showed you how to create a dashboard from scratch instantaneously using AI in the, that video. In this one, I will use the metrics, okay? The scorecard, metric scorecards are here. As you can see, I have this dashboard, this one I already created with you just click it here then in matrix and click it here on new scorecard as you are seeing over here you have to click it here new scorecard okay then you will see this vision okay first of all we have this title that we can change for example uh instead on title scorecard i'm gonna use sales scorecard all right this will be the name of this metric and this scorecard in here i can uh, deploy many different kind of metrics okay it's up to you how much you want to use how many so the first metric name will be um, for example canada uh, sales um, against us us sales okay this will be a metric that compare canada with us okay if canada it's under or above or in front of us sales okay this will be a comparison between these two countries here i can just sign some owners for these metrics which means the person that is responsible for these numbers so the one in your company that you want to talk in order to see how to increase these metrics or how these metrics work uh, was created this is the this is the owner of the metric okay this is the idea of use owners over here so you can just type it on other names if you have like two people or three whatever you just needed to type over here the owner then the current value we have it here and final target the current value is the value that we want to compare because we are creating a metric a metric means a kpi so something compared with another target with a target and a result that we will show it over here okay and i'm gonna do this right now with you uh first of all click it here and set up then instead use a manual metric I, mean, I won't share with you guys to how to create a manual because i think this is not like a practical way to create metrics okay i want to use it here connect to data to do something automatically okay so i will create it here i will click it here connect to data then i have to check where is the dashboard that i already created this one sales scorecard is the one that we created together so i will click it here once then next then as you can see here i can select any dashboard that i created on this project called sales scorecard that's why i created some visuals before uh publish this dashboard okay we have to we have to guys create some visuals before publish the power bi in order this uh this metric scorecard works properly on power bi okay so then i will click it here canada because canada is the value that i want to compare okay this is the one that i want to compare once i click it i can see the name of the measure so if you want to use another name please configure this on the visual okay so go to the dashboard and then configure how the how will be the name of the measure so here i will just leave some of sales because i didn't customize it in my dashboard but the current value as you can see i cannot add it because this is something automatically from this visual all right then i will click on connect and now i have this current value over here and i'm going to compare this one with the final target the final target is something automatically as well i can type here any value if i want but in my case i will use us sales to compare with canada so i will click in setup again uh, connect to data again then select the same dashboard again then instead canada now i will click on the us us sum of sales that perfect then connect now i have both values 
over here those values as you can see has a gray background this gray background means that those values are automatically comes from another data source and once you update the data in your dashboards the numbers here will be updated as well okay this is how this kind of uh, customization works all right now guys we needed to set up the status okay the status means the how we gonna use this row so instead select it over here i can put it manually like this this comparison it's for me it's on track the rule or completed whatever it's up to you but i can use this automatically as well as i did it here so i will click on setup rules new rule then create something if you value value we wha what i mean uh, with value value means this value current value okay if this value is greater than I and then I will move a little bit to the right on over here and click in this part uh, percentage of target okay if this value is greater than a hundred percent of the target because the target is the sales of US okay uh, we can describe this logic in another way like if canada sales is greater than u.s sales something in the status will be changed what i will change on the status for example i will change instead not started i will change to completed okay because if canada achieve a number above us i will put it completed otherwise i will just leave like behind okay or Canada is completed, it's above US or it's behind, okay? Then once I created this logic, I can put it another rules here, okay guys? As much as you want, okay? Then I will click on save. Now I have the rule created uh, and as you can see, there's no setup rules anymore. This message now replaced by update rules which means that I have a rules and here I can also click it here and connect data and no sorry and edit connection and add this uh, logic okay now we have just to set up finally this dates the dates of start these metrics I will put it exactly today I'm recording this video on August 9 and the due date will be until the end of this year so I will select it here, December, until December, please, December 21st, uh, 31st, just uh, measure this metric for me, Power BI and Fabric, please do it for me until this due date. Then click on save, and you will see that automatically not started will change for something. So Power BI process and now we have the metrics like that okay this metric is canada sales against u.s sales the owner is rodrigo me and the status is behind because canada just sold 24 million and u.s already sold 25 million which means that i'm behind the target all right this is how metrics work and on this sales scorecard for example i can add more for example i will click it here on new new metric and then this metric will be Canada sales uh, on August, for example. Okay, so sales related to August. No, instead this I will put it August Canada sales. So August Canada sales. Also, Rodrigo is the owner. The current value set up as the sales scorecard here guys you can see another uh all the actu actually you can see all the dashboards that i have in my company so if you want to mix some metrics from one dashboard or other in your company you can use okay there's no uh limit in this case there's no boundaries you can just go and select any other metrics from different dashboards that's how this sales scorecard is so nice on power bi because we can measure more than one metric at the same time from different sources that's really really nice so i'm gonna click it here sales scorecard again then instead use this dashboard now i'm gonna use 
the August sale, okay? Click it here in the line chart. So just August, then connect. Now I have this filtered, just uh, August. And instead of use a setup uh, data connected, I will use manually, okay? The final target I know is, for example, 5 million and 500, okay? In 500,000 okay that's how uh, 550k that's how no not 550k it's million sorry 550 million that's my target as you can see here I can just customize the data type of this number it's a decimal number or another thing integer number wall number percentage and effect in my case is decimal as uh, actually is decimal and I can change the number of decimal place okay two is okay for me because it's the number over here as well and this in this case I have a final target that is uh, manually configured all right instead automatically and I have a current value that change uh, as long as I change the data source, all right? I updated the data source. And also go to set up rules and create a new rules for this one. If the value is greater than, again, 100%, in this case, I will put it complete. Otherwise, I will put it uh, behind, okay? I will put it at risk, not behind, okay? Then save, then start date. In this case, I will put it August 1st until August 31. That's my August Canada sales. And as you can see, Canada sales is behind US. However, in terms of a monthly goal, I have Canada sales on track completed. Okay, the goal is achieved because I already sold 5.8 million and my goal was 5.50 million. Okay, so that's why I completed the, this metric. And in this case, I can put it more scorecard like January, February, March, April, any other months in order to check all the scorecards the metric at the same time in one single page that's how metrics works on power bi and microsoft fabric but uh, before leaving i just want to show you that we can just change those metrics okay the description of the metrics we can change anytime okay for example if i put a new i can click it here and then once I click on the status, I can manage statuses. Then you can remove, you can change the name, you can add a new one, you can reset to the previous version of the statuses. So uh, here you can just change how you will uh, monitoring the scorecard in this case. All right, I will cancel because this is not something that I want to show you. And then I will click it here again in the dashboard just to see the dashboard once more and then back to metrics and this guys on this uh home page of metrics now we have below here all the scorecards that you have in our case as in my case as you can see i have a portuguese version of this video that i recorded just this week you know, on monday it was published on monday and today I just recorded with you, I created with you this sales scorecard. So anytime I can go here, click it here and then see the metrics, the scorecard completed, the complete scorecard on my screen. Okay, that's how metrics works on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. So guys, once again, I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up, guys. Don't forget, please, to share this content with anyone else that you think will be useful. And also, any doubts, just leave in the comment below. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.